Hi, I'm Roxy, and today I'm going to explain how Corel Painter's brush looks functionality works. You may have heard me explain it in a previous video, um, but I just wanted to make a standalone version of this tutorial uh, so that I could point to it and reference it if needs be. The video is timestamped, so feel free to skip ahead to the pertinent bits. I'll first explain why we need brush looks, what problem they solve, then I'll show you how to use brush looks, then I'll show you how to make your own custom brush looks, then I'll show you how to organize your brush looks library, and uh, finally I'll show you how to export and import look libraries and how to fix the problems that you will very likely face doing this. So the problem that brush looks solves is that at present Painter doesn't save specific textures inside uh, the brushes you create. So for example, you could choose a texture, um, you could go in and you know give it properties, scale it, then you might go over to brushes and click save variant thinking that all of that information will be saved in your variant uh, and lo and behold at some point you find yourself uh, back on the default texture so it can be quite frustrating when you've gone and built a whole brush category of different textures uh, like I did, <laughs> only to find out that uh, they all revert at some point back to the default paper. And uh, I'm not even sure what the trigger is for it to revert back to the paper because I initially thought that uh, it was on program restart that would make sense, but sometimes you restart the program and it, it has retained whatever texture you were using. So I'm not sure what the trigger is, but I know that at some point you're going to face this issue because of the fact that uh, that information just isn't saved inside the brush. So at present, um, we use this thing called brush looks. Um, and brush looks live in this panel, the look library. If you don't have this uh, look library open, you can go to window, media panel, and looks. Now each of these blocks represent a brush look and when you create a brush look it contains three main bits of info. Um, what brush you were using, what paper texture you were using and what details you changed about said paper. So for example uh, right now if I click this you'll see I'm using something called Roxy Side Pencil as the brush. I'm using this texture, this is a custom texture, and I've got its, the scale set to 25%, which is not default. Now if I click on this brush, or oh, sorry, this uh, brush look, it changes to Roxy DG Sketcher, which is the brush name, and it changes to this texture, and looks like the settings are, are default. So this is Corel Painter's roundabout way of allowing you to link a texture to a brush. So let's make one together. I'm going to pick this brush here. It's using the same uh, texture that we were just using for this brush because I haven't changed it yet. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, pick a texture. Okay, so, uh, and by texture I mean paper. So uh, we've got this Roxy dot pattern. I'm going to take off random grain rotation and I'm going to set the scale to 50%. And let's assume we like this result. Uh, what we do now is we grab the rectangular marquee, draw a selection around the mark that you made, go back to the brush tool and then come over here to the hamburger menu and say save look. We're going to call it test 
And you see that it's popped a, a brush look here. Now what it should do and what it sometimes does do is it takes the content of that rectangular marquee and it makes an icon out of it. But most of the time, and I'm assuming this is a bug, um, it just gives you a white icon. But not to fret, what you can do is right click and say capture icon and then whatever is selected I'm pointing at my screen like an idiot and you can't see that but uh, whatever is selected it'll put as the icon so now I can go back to DG and you see it's it's got that texture as before the one that we just created and it goes to Roxy text paint it's got my paper and uh, at the settings that we used now I should mention that the update icon thing is something that you can do at any time um, even if it did capture the icon correctly so you can go like a, for example I can grab this DG and uh, I can make some sort of a mark and I can go over here and say capture icon so if you wanted to you could even type something draw a selection right click capture icon so it doesn't even have to be of the brush that uh, that you use whatever makes sense to you when you first open this panel what you're actually going to find is Corel Paints' default look library which uh, you can hide by going over here brush looks I see that before I figured out that you could hide a library um, I tried to delete all of the looks in it because they're all ugly trust me <laughs> but I couldn't delete that last one because uh, every look library needs at least one look in it but then I found out you can create your own uh, look library so if you want to do that you click plus new look library you give it a name click OK and then there you go and you see it's pre-populated it with whichever one I had last if you don't have anything selected it'll take the look that's in that default library and pop it in there uh, if you want to get get rid of a library besides um, the default one which you can't get rid of you can click on remove look library make sure you've got the one that you want to get rid of click OK the other thing you can do in this panel is you can go to look library view and you can change um, to list or some other thing that uh, you prefer. I like to have it on medium, just going to hide the default one. And uh, if you find this whole thing is a bit chunky, the other thing that you can do is if you hold down shift, click and drag, it'll create a custom uh, panel when you let go and you can shift drag a couple in there you can have it over there for quick grabbing so switch there and off you go now the other thing that you can do is import and export and this is probably something that you know as you upgrade to the next version of Corel Painter you'll want to export your look library and import it into the new one because you've spent all this time tweaking and making your brushes perfect uh, or should I say the brush looks perfect and you don't want to lose that so uh, all you do is you go um, export look no 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 not export look that's an individual look sorry you go to export look library that's it you choose the the look library click OK and then it'll ask you to specify a place where you want to save it and click OK then uh, when you're in your new uh, version of Corel Painter and you want to import it go over here to import look library and you import your file now what's inevitably going to happen is if you click on one of these brush looks you're going to get a dramatic error about how it can't go on anymore I can't remember the exact wording um, but it's because it's missing files the, the the paths to the brush and the paper are broken so in order to fix that you would click the hamburger menu click edit look this thing pops up keep that open and don't touch it yet the other thing that pops open is a text file with some information in now the pertinent lines is the third line here this is the the brush library 
the brush category and the brush. And the other thing that's important is texture. This is the paper library and the name of the paper. So probably what you're going to see is this will say painter 21 brushes because it's looking uh, in the painter 21 brush library and uh, maybe you didn't import your brush category so make sure that your brush category is imported make sure that the paper you want is where it should be in the right paper library and uh, change this to 22 or let's say it's painted 23 you're going to want painted 23 brushes etc so you name it appropriately then you click file save and go back to this and click ok and then you'll find that it works again if it doesn't work just read the the error that pops up it'll tell you whether it's it's the paper or the brush category or whatever that's the path is incorrect and you just have to go and edit that and make sure that uh, the paper and the brush that it's looking for is where the text file says it is now of course uh, this is a very roundabout way of doing things and i hope that at some point paint to change things so that you can save it to your brush and uh, just eliminate this whole step of the look library but this is what we have to deal with right now and uh, yeah I just wanted to make uh, a video specifically about this because uh, I'm going to be releasing some brushes that have papers and uh, I might decide to include some looks uh, or a look library with it and then at least I can point people to this file as a, as a help so hopefully this helped you. Thanks for watching. Uh, much obliged if you leave a like and subscribe. Until the next one, God bless.